A warm welcome everyone, it's Nick here. We're playing again a Commando, a game I reviewed a little while ago on the Commodore 64. This is the Enhanced Special Edition, um, one from 2015 by Nostalgia. Uh, I got to about level 3 on this one and I really liked it, but um, it does come with trainers and cheats on it. So after playing that, I was really interested to see what the whole game looks like, and that that's essentially what we're going to be doing uh, now. I believe there's about eight stages. We'll put on invincibility. Uh, we'll put on unlimited lives, but if you're invincible, I don't know why you need infinity lives as well, but better safe than sorry. And there's also unlimited uh, grenades. So we're going to see all eight stages. It's a game I did complete on the ZX Spectrum back in the day, but I didn't really own it on the uh, Commodore 64. Uh, the original conversion in 1985 and the nostalgia have done this reskin in 2015 so this is level one the helicopter drops us into position so here we go nothing can stop us now we're gonna do it hooray right okay so at the end of each stage on commando there is a fortress where lots of enemies steam out if you kill all them without getting killed yourself you then get on to the next stage those motorbikes are impossible to destroy, no matter how many uh, hand grenades you fire at them. Once again, it's a lone man attacking a whole army. They won't know what's going on here because I'm impervious to bullets a bit like Superman. Here we go. It's right, stage one, I've done that okay without any cheats on. In terms of arcade conversions, this is absolutely sensational. Back in a time where there was a lot of poor conversions, especially done by US Gold. Uh, this conversion, well, the previous conversion of Commando was done by Elite Systems in 85. This is by Nostalgia. But all round, I haven't ever seen a bad conversion of Commando. So this is great. You're playing the uh, role of some GI or crack Commando, and we've broken Area 1 already. Hurrah! Steaming through. So the graphics on this have been overdone. Well, not overdone. They've been, you know what I mean. They've been improved as this tank comes out the size of a postage stamp. Stage two, we go through different uh, bunkers going over them. Normally, any bullets would kill you. I'm sure you've worked that out anyway, just like real life. But we're just going to see what the whole game looks like. Hooray! Right, okay. So go through here. It's a very, very tricky game, but quite a rewarding one as well. Uh, as a kid, it will teach you timings, and um, you know, I think I think kids are better at these sort of games than grown adults. Can we destroy this thing? We get a precise. No, I don't think we can kill that. This is near the end of stage two. The enemy will come out the fortress and the side portals as well. Here we go. Animates really well. This one really lots to like. My favourite run and gun by far. The 128k Spectrum plays as. Uh, well, identically to the 48k Spectrum, uh, I haven't actually played that, but I've seen footage of it, except there's music playing all the way through. This has um, just sound effects, so broke area, well, broke the second area, now rush to area three. Okay, we better do that then. Area three, here we go. Uh, buildings here are three-dimensional, seem to remember the Spectrum version at this stage, that is all 2D. I don't know if that's just a thing of this enhanced version. So this is pretty much where I got up to without the cheats on during the gameplay review. So check that one out if you wish. It's not going to take a great deal of time to get all the way through this because the levels are quite short. These lorries going across. Uh, I think we can destroy those. I'm not sure about that. Yeah, a precise um, hand grenade onto the top will destroy it. Guys will jump out the back. Annoyingly, these motorbikes, no matter what you do, will never ever get killed. Boo! Come on. Right, so this was very, very tricky back in the day because um, this fortress, there was two guys firing mortars at you. And it just takes one of these full stop bullets to have the merest of contacts with you and you're dead. But collision detection is really good, as in all versions of this. I prefer the 8-bit versions of Commando to the 16-bit ones. I think it's because the 8-bit ones are maybe slightly easier. The range of the gun seems to be a lot further. <laughs> Oddly, I probably like the 8-bit versions more than the 16-bits as well. So, we're in new territory now. Um, to Area 4. Over these steel plate uh, bridges, let's call them, because they are bridges. You know, did you complete this back in the day, even the 1985 version or this modern day version? I'm very interested to see if it gives you a game over sequence. 
The ZX Spectrum version uh, just looped back to, it didn't give you anything really, it just looped back to stage 1 again and called it stage 9 or stage 11 and just go on forever and ever until you die. So it's impossible to complete. But uh, we'll see what this one essentially does. A uh, really good enhancement over the original game, this one. Most notably, the uh, helicopter that drops you in at the start. Right, so, this fortress is slightly more tricky. You must kill the enemy. Um, they're firing at you through windows this time. I believe once we've killed all these and go in, the building will catch fire or burst into flames or something equally as complicated. Die, everyone, die. You're not taking me alive because I'm impervious to bullets, which is always helpful in warfare. Maybe I'm wearing a special costume or something. Right, that's that lot taken care of. So I've gone into the building and it's immediately exploded. Maybe I'm an electrician. I've come out again. We're off. So halfway through the game now. Broke the fourth area. Now rush to the fifth area. Hooray! Didn't have a, uh, a sequel as such, there's no Commando 2 that I'm aware of. I think it went to Mercs after that point. But I would have preferred a game a bit more like this called Commando 2 with like new levels and similar gameplay. Um, you know, I don't know why they didn't do that. There's guys firing at me from the tree, but they're not going to be any trouble at all. Going through Swampland, I think, now. So, a good gritty colour palette, this. They've chose well. It does seem like warfare. You're going through... Um, well, swamps and bunkers, and it's generally not very nice area, but the gameplay on this is excellent. A brilliant run and gun. Uh, I think it's my, my favourite run and gun of all time. If you disagree, if you've got a different favourite run and gun, then let me know. On, on the 8-bit era, era we're talking about, and maybe 16-bit too. Uh, Dogs of War is a good one. Uh, in Commando, you're only ever um, going up the screen vertically. In Dogs of War, you had horizontal scrolling as well, so it did vary it, and you went on different sort of like missions. You was more of a mercenary on that one. This one, you're just a crack commando having to destroy this whole army on your own, uh, a bit like Rambo or some other similar fool. Good, right. Excellent. So the stages aren't overly long, but they sure are tricky without any cheats on. Broke area 5, now let's rush to area 6. So 6, 7 and 8 left. I believe there's 8 stages unless they've chucked in any extra ones here. I think we've seen everything that can kill us so far. It's just stuff in a different order now. So it's pretty much cut and paste to do the levels. Didn't know we could blow up stuff like that, but we can. On the Spectrum version they will just disappear in a cloud of smoke. Here it seems to be yeah, a proper graphic. Lots of broken bridges here, you'll notice them a lot. Right, we're going to complete the game, hooray! Getting quite excited now for the uh, game over sequence, but I'm presuming it's just going to be a screen with text on. Important to kill these guys in the bunkers, especially near the fortresses at the end, otherwise I'll take a pot shot at you, and you can't shoot them after that point, and it's no good continuing. So here we go. I think we're too close to that bunker to get a hand grenade in there now. So this is when um, it would have been impossible to do without any cheats on. You've got to line it up absolutely perfect. They don't know what's going on this mob. As I say, if you did complete this back in the day without any cheats, let me know. I did the Spectrum version, but never any other version. I think I, you know, I was playing this quite a lot, really. It was a good conversion by Elite Systems. Also on this cartridge is Ghost and Goblins, an enhanced version of that, which we haven't looked at. I've looked at the original Ghost and Goblins on the Commodore 64, but not this um, arcade enhanced version, so we need to look at that. And we might very well do a walkthrough on that as well, a cheaty walkthrough. But I think that'll take longer to do than this one. Uh, and it's not a case you can just go up the screen on that, because you, you can fall down ledges and you've got to work out what direction to go to. So that might be longer. We might do that as well. Hooray, why not? Why not? You only live once, don't you? YOLO. Unless you're a Buddhist and then you live a lot of times. If you've been good, I think. Right. Oh, look at that. I wonder if we can get into that vehicle there. We can kill him. It looks like he's gone onto the, uh, the um, no man's land there, or the battlefront, and then broken down. Can we get in that? No, we can't. But it was, it was worth a go. All about weaving here to get round it. The fortress opens again. It's just a standard fortress this time. So we're seeing all the graphics. We're seeing all the stages. Hopefully this is of some interest to you. 
Um, it's always good to see, but always always do the games without cheats on first, otherwise you just ruin it for yourself. I mean, I first played this game, or well, the Spectrum version, about over 30 years ago, so I think I've earned the right now to go, go through with cheats all the way through to see any version I want. Well, he's retreated back into there. Broke Area 7. Now, it's the last stage now. If we only had one life, it would be pressured, but we haven't. Uh, the 8th area. Right, okay, so this should be super tough, should it not? This should be the trickiest thing you've ever seen in your whole life. Gunning through. Take that, you lot. Okay, right, this is the sound of warfare, folks. We've crossed this uh, airport, where it's probably an airfield. Very, very difficult to do, as you can see, without dying or taking a hit anywhere. There are sort of like save points in this, but not many, so quite often you have to start all over again. Let's get to the side. Stay near the buildings. Let's blow that up. No, we can kill the people in it, but not that, that building. Must be coming up to the end soon. This is probably about halfway. Past these motorbike fellas as hand grenades get launched at us from all directions. This is the end now. This is the end. The final super fortress boss type thing. When we go in there, it will explode. Right, it's him taken care of. Two guys on the top. One. Two. That's it, right now. So just kill all these and we'll soon see whatever the game over sequence is. What do you think? Hooray! Du, 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 du. Go Rambo, go! Right, there we go. So we go in there, we plant a bomb, we blow it up like before. Helicopter will pick us up. There it is. We'll get in there and we'll see what happens at the end of the game. That's it, I think. Congratulations, mission completed. That's it. That's all you're getting and a salute. Then it will just go back to the one. So that's it. So, you know, it was well worth seeing those. I thought it was jolly interesting. So, hope you liked seeing that. That was Commando again. Uh, the special edition by Nostalgia around about 2015 on the old Commodore 64. Thanks for watching that. If you've got any comments about Commando, any similar games, then please put that below. A huge thank you to everyone that's subscribed so far. Uh, if you haven't already and you are liking the channel, please consider doing so because it helps the channel no end go forward in terms of growth. Uh, if you want to help a bit more, it's patreon.com slash njenkin. Every little bit really does help. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.